right, I'll get started. Um, it's good to see all of you. Thank you for coming. And um, this piece over here, as well as this piece, is mine. And the third piece is out in the area as you come into the room. And the reason I'm saying that is because I really printed all of these together. And when I get ready to talk about it, in my mind, I still see them together. They are all the same. These are silk screens. And um, they're silk screens. Um, they were all done kind of at the, really at the same time. And it was a color experiment is what it really was. Um, my work normally is more figurative abstraction. Okay? And... Basically, when I do work, a lot of times I'll have a concept, and then it just kind of grows out of whatever that concept is. This concept was color. I had some fabric that was actually on a, a bench that was in my house, and it was a piece of African type of fabric. And when I looked at it, I said, you know, I would like to do a print that's kind of centers around some of the... Um, I guess some of the, the shape connections that were in that particular piece. And the, and the piece that's out in the front area, you can kind of see it more. Because you have to look at these prints very closely because they are layers of color, layers on top of layers. And so you have dark layer, like one tone that's under here is a brown that is simply a tiny bit lighter than the one that's put on top of it. And if you look at the print that's in the front, you can actually see the full print as it was. So I wanted to, it's really, I hate to say this, it's like going to Duran paint and figuring out what kind of paint color you want. <laughs> okay? And, and if you do a lot of printing, you have to do that. You have to figure out how you want it layered, how you want it to look, and so forth. And so, basically, this print is an experiment. And so what happened is I, I mixed the colors for all of these around the same time. And I wanted to kind of bring in some of like, I guess, a really kind of maybe textile, um, kind of funky, kind of African kind of look to it. And so I started off with basically kind of almost like a grid of some of these lines that you see that are more linear here. And then I moved on from that to actually every single color, everything you see on here is a different layer. It's, and when I say it, it's a different screen. And so you can look at this and you might say, oh, it's just brown and red or whatever it is. But it's really about four to five and sometimes six different screens that are together. And when I work, a lot of times, um, this is like on a photo silk screen, and so I actually do drawings. I can either take a photograph and put it onto the screen, or I can draw onto, I draw on mylar, and then for, have that transferred photographically, I transfer it onto a silk screen. And so it started off with just these dark layers of colors, and then I wanted a focal point. And so I used a, a white spiral to go around these to build that particular point. And these parts are no more than that. They're just that simple. But what I'm looking at is I'm looking at uh, the layering of color and a fine adjustment in tones from one color to another. So that you'll see one blue this, this, and then this is a gray blue, and so forth. And, and basically, that you know that's the thing that was happening with this particular print. If I talk about some of my other artwork, it's a whole different story. <laughs> you know, about what's happening in that. But um, these are very simplistic. Um, I think that whenever, I'm working a lot of different media. I work anywhere from textiles to printmaking. I've done printmaking for a bazillion years. I do etchings because they're very tactile and all of that. So screening is fun, you know. Um, primarily, I look, I have a lot of pieces that are collage. They're paper and their fabrics together. I don't see any difference between paper and fabric myself because it depends on what kind of paper you're working on. You can treat them all the same. I, I don't make a lot of differentiations between things a lot of times. It's just how you put them together, how you want to build an idea. And the medium that you're working with, you have to know the medium. 
but you can transfer concepts and ideas from one medium to another, you know, very easily. I've been doing it for a long time, so it, that's the way I think, you know. But that's it. You got any questions <laughs> that you want to ask about it? I'm willing to answer them, you know. Um, but I like silk screening a lot. But I like etching a lot. I like the book a lot. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it just depends. This group was done in silk screening. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.